Get out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Kat. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm Amy. <laughs> and we are your Wednesday couple on... For a couple of gays. Right, so um, this week's topic is how to get over breakups um, and Chantel pointed out that we're all together and um, but it doesn't mean that we're not going to have a breakup, uh, any of us, but the other thing that I should point out is, is that Amy and I have gone on, not breaks, but we've had really big fights, big fights where... Um, you know, one of us has gone away for a couple of days and gone and stayed with either friends or, or family just to have a break. And I think, so I'm going to do a, a bracket slash what do you do when you have a big fight and how do you deal with it? Um, just cause we're different and you know, there's not so much that I can say in terms of the breakup because who'd want to break up with me? Hello. Um, hey, well, I can talk about the breakup thing. Yeah, so Amy can go first about the breakup thing. I'm just going to... Yeah, so... Um, I guess I've had a few breakups. Um, I can only really think of one that absolutely knocked me over. Um, I think all the other ones were, weren't as massive and weren't as, uh, I wasn't as committed to the relationship anyway, so, um, yes, it affected me, but, you know, not to the extent, um, that my last breakup did. Um, it was quite full on and... It actually got to the point where um, I had to... I was actually um, still living at our house, but in another room. And I ended up having to finally make a, make a cut and move out um, as well as, you know, like get my own place and do my own thing um, because I knew that it was not healthy to stay there any longer. And how did you deal with it? Um, well, uh, like like uh, the girl said, I guess, um, I, well, Carrie said, I didn't necessarily um, deal with it in the best way. Um, I, yeah, got very emotional and... Um, and was quite literally cried myself to sleep every night for weeks and weeks and months and yeah and just you know um, I read too much into like I thought oh you know we can get back together and um, things like you know um, me interpreting things that were actually said as friendship were actually just friends. Um, like, I read too much into it and thought, oh, well, this must be leading back to a relationship and stuff like that. So it definitely wasn't the way to deal with it. Um, and I think I've learnt from that now um, that... I think a clean break is definitely uh, the way to go. And, and um, I haven't had um, too many breakups per se, like, like breakups where someone breaks up with the other person or anything like that. I think all my relationships have ended in a amicable way or I was young and decided that it was easy to just leave. Um, and not have a discussion or anything. Um, so I think that that should just be a prerequisite. Oh, 
free bit of knowledge for you guys that I sort of haven't had to do the whole big breakup and the one relationship that I did have to deal with. It was a relationship to which um, came with a lot of complications because um, the person uh, that I was seeing at the time decided that they were going to transition from female to male. And I tried to stick by this person, but my, I had to go with my own feelings and my own gut. Um, and I think that's the thing that I would tell you guys, if you're trying to deal with a breakup is just trust your own instincts. It, you know, like everyone, all the other couples will probably say, um, and Chantelle and Kerry did, breakups and how you deal with them is an individual thing. I can't, you know, I can't tell you what you should or shouldn't do because what I think is right for me won't necessarily be right for you. And I'm really, you know, if somebody was to come to me and, and ask for help, I would listen and I would be there and I would support them as best I can. But at the end of the day, the decisions and the choices um, that you make need to be your own. Um, I had a lot of um, anger in our uh, breakup because I was very young at the time and I believed that if somebody was wanting to transition from male to female, sorry, from female to male after being with me, then there was something wrong with me or, you know, there was a whole range of things that I went through that didn't necessarily have anything to do with you in the end, did it? No, and it didn't. And, it's and a, a But when you're a young person, and I think that's what I've got to say to all our young viewers, and I know that we have a lot of young viewers, um, is just be mindful that at 14 and 16, you're not going to find the love of your life that is going to stay with you forever. And if you do, that's a beautiful thing, but it, it's a the chances, rarity. The chances are it's a rarity. rarity. And, it's, yeah. and just because somebody doesn't want to be with you anymore doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. It just means that that person feels that they're at a different level to you. And so that's, that's the knowledge that I want to pass on to you is, is that not all breakups happen because you're a bad person or you're a deformed person or anything like that it just that's that's obviously the, you going on different paths and that's okay it's okay to go on different paths and obviously they are the one um and you know I'm grateful I learn a lot about myself as a person and I um haven't had a lot of long-term relationships this is my second long-term relationship and I'm now married so um or civil partnered <laughs> better get it right um so for us this is a very different circumstance uh, well it's a very different circumstance for me because everybody else that I saw in the interim um wasn't a relationship it was a fling it was a hookup and I'm not condoning hookups by any means, but it's just what I did and, and you know, it was a part of who I was at the time. Sorry, Hugo wanted cuddles. He was nagging me for cuddles. Um, so that's what I can say on that. It's just that everything, I believe everything in our lives happens for a reason and although it may be really crappy at the time and be under really terrible circumstances, it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. Um, it doesn't mean that you've done bad things, although then again, sometimes some people have, but I think you've just got to take each day as it comes and be grateful. And I think, you know, I, every single day, even when we're fighting, if I can find five good things in my life, I think I'm having a pretty good day. Mm -hmm. Um, we, um, as I was saying earlier in the video, we f can fight being complete opposites. We fight like cats and dogs, um, and we, um, I don't know whether you can see him, he's going to sleep on my arm, um, and we have had some pretty serious fights 
in our time. in our time, yeah, in in the many years of our relationship, and um, they have not been pretty, and um, there have been points where we haven't been able to make a compromise, and I've spoken in a previous video. We spoke about how we never go to sleep um, angry or on a fight. Um, and, and that's, and that's something that we live by, but we, um, encountered, um, a few months ago where we couldn't reach a compromise and we couldn't get past the argument that we were having. And so we needed to step back and sometimes you need to step back, um, not just from the person and, you know, go and sleep on the couch or whatever for the night, but you need to get out of that situation. And I am all for get in that space and being able to call a time out and just having time to get things clear in your own mind, you know. I don't think that any relationship that, that claims that they're perfect and they never fight, and it's never going to last mm. because fighting's healthy. It means that you're challenging each other and you're, you're challenging the values and the – not the values, but you, you just – you're challenging when you don't agree. You're just not being agreeable. I don't. You can't be agreeable all the time in a relationship. Otherwise, you're making too many sacrifices of yourself. So, look, that's just my... That's my opinion. That's my view. Uh, it's how I feel. It's not the law. I don't claim to know what you should or shouldn't do. I'm just speaking of my experience... I guess the, As, the biggest thing is just if you do break up, then, um, you know, at the time it's, it feels like it's the end of the world um, and you're never going to get past it and, you know, how are you ever going to survive without them? But you will. Um, there's always, you know, people move on and... Um, and things change, but and you don't necessarily like it at the time, but it will get better. Yeah, and it and in your and your grieving process because you you're grieving the loss of something, and some people and people deal with grief and loss different ways. The way you deal with it is going to be completely different to the way that I deal with it. Mm. Um, that way, Amy did. And every oh yeah, all the couple couples uh, house videos they were awesome. Thanks for letting us in. It's good to know that I've got a spare bedroom in pretty much everybody's house if I want to come visit. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But um, leave your comments if you have any. Down below. Um, or, you know. Questions, questions or, or you want it, some advice. Let us I know. guarantee you'll like it, but it's advice. All right. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.